Jericho Board of School Directors. May we st um, stand to salute the flag and have a moment of silence, please. Thank you all for being here. Um, Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call? Uh, yes, you may, Madam President. Ms. Barry. Present. Ms. Monroe Woodset. Present. Mrs. Peter Coey. Present. Ms. Woodford. Present. Mrs. Washington is excused. Mr. Fallon. Present. Ms. Harris Johnson. Present. Ms. Crawley. Present. Mrs. Abney. Present. Dr. Winder. Present. Mr. DiOrio. Present. And Mr. Butler, present. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Um, I just have a couple, uh, I have a statement. In the midst of our efforts to provide additional resources and support to our schools, including our high school and entire uh, district, I was recently notified that a board member who leaked our superintendent's proposed contract online is now also sharing board emails on social media. So let me let me let me let me keep it well, 100 with y'all again. Mm -hmm. like, uh, no one, mm -hmm. no me. one lead in the board member you're talking about for social media is named Sheree the board member Whitsett. And me. I did Excuse not me. leak Excuse the like superintendent's contract. This is not your, this remove is not your who? time to speak. Remove who? This is not your time remove to speak. who? Oh, remove who? Please remove me. Please remove me. Please remove me. Please remove me. Wow. Then this meeting won't go on. I make a motion to dismiss this meeting. Okay, but. And there's a motion on the floor, so you have to address the motion first. Absolutely, let's address the motion. Would anybody like to um, stop the meeting? Because, um, Ms. Ms. I Woods, second the motion. Said, Thank you. Uh, let's do a roll call. Because Ms. we're gonna Perry. continue. Crazy. We're gonna continue. This Ms. Perry. Absolutely crazy. Yes. I have I have a right to make a statement. Okay, Ms. Monroe with it. Uh yes. Absolutely. Okay? No. That's what you could have done. Now you want to do this in front of the camera? Come on now. Come you on. Have better things to do Can, than to, to say okay. somebody did he say and say shit. No, let's let's be honest. That's crazy. And direct. We okay. want to be direct with the public. Let's you be direct. Let's be direct. Let's, let's go. Okay. okay. We appreciate you being transparent so we can see it online. Right. Yep. Okay. So, Boom! Okay. <laughs> that you stepped in the room how, to how wow. Yes! <laughs> Let's we're keep still, the motion we're, we're going. Still, yeah, exactly. Yes. Thank you. That she got from the district, Damn. that she got from Southeast Delco's yes. district through a right Let's to know the vote. paperwork. <laughs> Let's continue Damn. the vote. Oh, man. Mr. Butler, let's continue, please. See, you, you need to stop hearing hearsay that somebody on the board is doing something. That's where you get this from. Okay. It's let's no continue. Hearsay. Somebody on the board is doing anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue. I'm going to do it in front of your face. Okay, let's continue. That part. Okay? Yo, okay, let's down. continue. Yo, Y'all need to settle down. Can we get this thing rolling? Right, let's continue. Let's go. Right, let's continue. Yeah, well, she started it. No, I did not. Can, I want to finish it. I did not. That part. Can we, can I want to finish it. No, I'm going to move on without finish talking. Y'all need to stop. Okay? Y'all need to stop. No, they need to okay? stop. Y'all need to stop. So now she's going to move Mr. on. Mr. Butler. Mr. Stop. Butler, let's continue, please. Roll, roll call. That's crazy. She going to sit up there and blame somebody. Okay, so I'm going to move well, on with the roll call. Remember, you a kleptomaniac, so I mean, at this point, they going to blame everybody but the crew who's in the back door okay. with the back okay. seats. I will move on with the roll call. I'll start over. Ms. Perry. Yes. Ms. Monroe Witsett. Yes. 
Mrs. Peter Cowie? No. Ms. Woodfolk? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. So this, uh, okay. Mr. Fowler said yes. Okay. Did he uh, understand? Ms. Harris Johnson? Yes, he yes, understood. understood. Did he understand what the question was about? Mr. Fowler, did you understand that I made a motion to close this meeting? Correct. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. Harris Johnson? No. <laughs> Ms. Crawley? No. Mrs. Abney? No. First off, I didn't start it, what? right? I didn't start it. Didn't no, because I didn't post anything about emails that you presented online, okay? No, but this is not appropriate. Email. So what, what you're saying is well, that somebody on the board. I have the right, as I have a right to make, the, to, and, and to make a comment, exactly okay? When and it I is your exactly turn to speak, you should you should speak you then. Let's move on. Let's so move on. Let's I, move I, on. Okay. Okay. Right. Just, exactly. Okay. Lack of respect. Okay. Right. Just a point of clarification. Right. Okay. Excuse me. We sitting here. We got kids at home. Yes. Right. We so let's move forward. Let's move forward. So 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 can we please? I'm being respectful to everybody that want to talk over yeah. each other. I'm being respectful now. Can we please move on with the stuff that's in the agenda? Nothing about anything that's on Facebook or anywhere that's else true. because it's not in our agenda. That's We're here true. for something else. Can we address that? And y'all can address your issues on your time. Yeah. Please. That part. Yes. Can we continue? Let's continue. So right now we have a tie on the motion to close the meeting. So, hmm. Right, the motion fails. <clears throat> because it's a tie. Right. Correct, okay. So we can continue on. So we continue? Yes. yes. It's a tie. We only revote on ties if we're like appointing a position, a vacant spot, or the president or something. Oh, okay. like that. Right. Are you clear, Miss Woodfolk? No, I'm not she didn't hear what you said, Miss Perry. I believe we only vote again on a tied motion if we're appointing someone to a vacant seat or voting for the president or the vice president's seat. <clears throat> As you all can see. Oh, yeah there is some contention among the board. It is very important to us that we work in the best interest of our students, stakeholders, and uh, staff. Unfortunately, with information being circulated online, it's very difficult to continue to have a code of conduct that expressly um, requires confidentiality. You're, 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 inter contract. you're interrupting. Yeah, if it was your, if it was your turn to speak, I would respect Let's, your opportunity to speak. Right, okay. exactly. But that, okay, exactly. But she wasn't speaking at that time. That's no, what I said, and I am now. Well, okay, but you speak it over me then. No, it's, it's my turn to speak. It says president's comment. It says president's comment. Yes, I know. This is the same you Right, and let's move on. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. We must work collaboratively, partnering with parents and stakeholders in the best interest of our students, even when we disagree. It is customary that the president of the board, according to the National School Board Association, is the spokesperson for the board of directors. Please beware of board members 
who were not voted in as officers by their colleagues to speak on behalf of the board. Even with these newfound challenges, as a board, we are committed to empowering the administrators to provide the best possible education and environment to our students and staff. We will continue to do everything within our power to ensure our students thrive despite the challenges that we are having in our district. Thank you. At the December 15th, 2022 board meeting, the time frame for which the public shared comments regarding agenda items spanned approximately two hours and 15 minutes. During this evening's board meeting, I am setting a 30 minute time cap on public comments. This is an effort, this is an effort to have our meeting end at an appropriate time. Please note, all public comments are not to pass three minutes. If someone hits the three minute mark, you will be thanked for your comment and asked to return to your seat. Let's see, approvals. You, you absolutely have a right to be heard. However, you do not control the meeting. Thank you. Bring clarity, Mr. DiOrio, about public comments. Um, we're going to ask our solicitor to bring clarity to. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Folks, the the uh, president has asked me to comment. Uh, as far as the Sunshine Act is concerned, <coughs> you must have public comment at every school board meeting at every public meeting that's mandatory however the board has the right to set reasonable timelines for the public comment they can schedule uh, an overall limit and they can schedule individual limits so there is no right under the sunshine act for all comments to be heard if the board chooses to make reasonable limitations on the com that's that's just the sunshine act no, no, excuse me, excuse me, wait, excuse me, I have a question. No, excuse me, I have a question. Mr. Iorio, so you're telling me that the president of the board, not consulting with all nine members, can make this decision on her own without consulting with other board members? If the, if the other board members allow the president to do so, yes, but it would, so, be, it would be up to the board. So it's up to the board, not the, excuse me, so it's up to the board, not the board president. So you're telling me that in executive session, the board, the board members that were up there agreed upon this term. So, no, so y'all agree, no, excuse me. We discussed it, so, I did no, no, not agree. I'm, I'm, excuse me, I, yeah, the question is, so all the board members who are in executive no, session, they was, all agree no, to this. She, uh, no, the president Please turn your mic on, I want it to be heard. The president stated upstairs at the executive session that she was going to make it 30 minutes and three minutes for each person, which it will be 10 people. That's what she said. She didn't That's ask the board anything. That's not what I said. Okay. We did Can have I, a conversation about it. Okay. Would you like to bring clarity? Like, <clears throat> one, I'd like to do a point of clarification. In the executive session, I was the one who wrote that script into the president's uh, uh, notes uh, and referenced that it was two hours and 15 minutes uh, of public comments the last time. And in order to continue to do bus good business, we have to move these meetings along. So that was the only point. So as of right now, there are 11 cards. So 11 cards brings you up to about 30 minutes. So if the board wants to go to 45 minutes or go to an hour, they can. But to, in all seriousness, to be here for two hours and 15 minutes and hear the same comments from the last time, it's... We, we get it. The board heard every single comment. The administration heard every single comment. We're, you may think that we're not taking copious notes, but it's important for us to continue to move the organization forward. And in order to do that, 
we will listen and take copious notes so that we're hearing what everybody's saying because it's that serious to all of us. So I move that we continue to co continue the policy of public comment as currently in past practices. Second. Would you like, would we like to do a roll call vote? Oh, Mr. Diorio wants clarity for your for your motion. So what that means is every constituent that walks in that door is able to go to the mic for three minutes as per the policy and not to be eliminated because it's wasting the board members time or they don't want to be here or they got to leave early. So again, I move that we continue the past practice of open comment under the Sunshine Law for every constituent in the building or anyone that comes in after the meeting. Are you saying unlimited unlimited time? I move. No, we're talking about total time. We're talking I, about total I move. Time. I move that the board continues its past practice of community comments under the Sunshine Law without limitations. Now. Right, we're, we're continuing with three minutes. We're, we're talking about the total time now. We're talking about total time now. Thank you. I moved, I'm gonna re-edit my mission. And my, I move under the past practice of open comment at any public meeting under the Sunshine Law that every constituent that would like to speak at our public meeting under the Sunshine Law is allowed to speak. So if it takes us 10 hours, then we're sitting here for 10 hours. That is the motion, and during past practices, we sat here for two and a half hours. So at this point, I'm going to say unlimited time. Do I need to clarify one more time? Since we're being dictated to and not asked, there's no, a motion sorry, you on the floor. The executive session. We actually did have a, have a conversation. About no, no, y'all. No, no. It was a dictation. If you're telling somebody something, that's a dictation. If you're asking people's opinion, that's nothing. And I wasn't coming to executive session to waste my time. That's fine. So, so I'm I sorry you weren't ask, there. I will ask for a point of clarification, Ms. Monroe. Was that you yeah. said ten hours or unlimited? Which one do you want? Uh, we can do unlimited. I'll take unlimited. So we have a second uh, by Ms. Woodford. I'll do a roll call. Ms. Perry. Yes. Ms. Monroe was there. Yes. Ms. Peter Coey. No. Ms. Woodfolk. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Ms. Harris Johnson. Ms. Crawley. No. Ms. Zabney. At the discretion of the board. Um, I'd say at the discretion of the board. I would like we to make should, a motion. We, we should keep our um, board members. So we. So Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I vote yes. Motion passes, we can continue on. Do I have a motion to approve the January 5th, 2023 agenda as submitted? I move that, uh, I move that we take, continue to table item number one under new business. Um, that's my motion. That's a, yeah. Right, that's what we're doing now. 
Okay, motion. To approve the agenda. To approve the agenda. Hold on. As submitted. Motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I move that we continue to table item number one under new business of the agenda until the board business meeting January 19th. Uh, no, the next one. The 26th. Be patient. We're gonna I, vote. Got, I, got, I have to write this down. Just hold on a second. May I make a comment, Madam President? Yes. Um, <coughs> Ms. Woodsett, the, the item is presently tabled. So the motion, there's going to be, there's going to be, well, there's going to be a motion. Well, right now, if, if the motion to take it off the table fails, your motion, that would accomplish the same thing as your motion. In other words, you're, you're doing something twice. So yep. what would be appropriate now is if you, if you are in favor of keeping this tabled, when the motion comes up to take it off the table, you would vote no. Are you going to do this singly or all It'll together? be a roll call. It's going to be a roll call. So everybody vote one time. Yeah. Yes. So one and two. I don't think we need it for three. So the first motion would be whether or not to take it off the table, and it sounds to me like you would probably be voting no. Yeah, I understand. So somebody would have to make that motion. The motion would be, I move to take the, this agenda item off the table, and then there would be a second, then there would be a vote. A no vote, it stays tabled. A yes vote, it's off the table. And the, the, so, yeah. But we can just follow what's on the agenda already. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but so the first one is a motion to untable. Yeah, but so that right. we, need, we need public comment. Well, right. we can. This 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 motion would have to be. We need public comment before the motion right. to take it off the table. So, in my opinion, I don't believe that we need to modify or that's correct. Change that, that was my because point. the when I put these resolutions on, I put them on for a reason. Yeah, that would be correct. Okay. So when 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 a motion comes up, then then you know how to vote. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I already so, send my motion. Okay. Um, we're going to um, make mo make time for a public comment. Um, when your name is called, please come to the podium and um, state your name and your address. Um, you will have three minutes. Michelle McGowan. Gowan, 421 Clifton Avenue, Sharon Hill. Is it better? Okay. First of all, I am the one who put the contract out in the public web. It's in my Dropbox that links back to my account. I was given that by Mr. Butler. It was emailed to me, and you were on the email chain when it was given to me. So you are well aware that I have the contract. It is not the, the draft. It is her current contract. There was no confidential information shared. It was what was given to me by the district. So I think you need to clarify your comment when you accuse someone of sending out information incorrectly. I did it. I asked for it. I had a right to it. And I shared it because it should have been made public. Now, according to that contract, and first, I wanted to say, this is not a personal attack against Dr. Weiner. She's a wonderful, lovely person. None of my comments, none of anyone's comments here are about your character. It is strictly about job performance. According to this contract, the contract states that there should only be one uh, performance review. How, and it says that in accordance to the state, the Pennsylvania code, school codes, that it's only one. However, the copy of the Pennsylvania school code says that it should be annual. I checked 
my husband and I checked all local districts, every single one does a review every single year and posts it on their website every single year. We do not. And the contract allows for that to not be continued. It can allow, as it currently stands, says that only one performance evaluation. How can you have one performance evaluation in five years? That's not, that's unacceptable. No one should have that. It also says that the board should needs to notify the superintendent in writing no later than 150 days prior to the expiration of the contact, contract of the board school director's intent to reappoint or not reappoint her in accordance with the public school code. Should the superintendent not be notified, she shall be reappointed to at the next regular board meeting for a further term in accordance with the public school code. We are at 177 days. Why are we rushing it? This was supposed to be done at the January 19th meeting. This is what was publicized at that meeting. There was no notification other than a quiet comment on the school board page, no, or the school district page. No one knew about that until social media brought it to attention. So when social media brought it to attention, I brought it to the public's attention. I have the contract. I did it. Mayor Donna Macchio Padilla. Yeah, I don't. Need, I really don't need a microphone. But if you want me to talk anyway, I will. I got accused of yelling at someone last night because I used the microphone. Um, number one. I just would like to know, since our last meeting, what has been done by the superintendent to change anything in the schools? That's one question. Number two, have we gotten any more teachers since the last meeting? Or have we lost any more teachers since the last meeting? Okay, I'm trying to be very calm, but this really gets on my nerves. Number three, I wanna know one thing. The President of the United States has a four-year contract. What gives you the right to have a five-year contract? It's simple. You don't have the right. This board should not give anyone, no one should get a contract for five years. Performance first, communication, and the favorite word, transparency. We don't have that. I'm not seeing it here tonight. I see a couple of people on the board, and I thank everyone on this board because this is a tough job, really tough job. I'm on count. I was on council. I'm the mayor. That's a tough job. At least I get paid for it. You guys don't. You volunteer your time for our kids. So my hat's off to you. Yep. But I, I just don't get a five-year contract. Why not? a year and come up for review. Have you been in any of the schools since the December meeting? I'd like to know. Pardon me? Oh, we can't get an answer? Oh, you'll email me? Eventually when? In six years? I didn't get any emails from the last one. I did not. So I want to know, when should I hold my hand on my butt until I get it? Because I think it's going to be grafted there until I get an email from you. The last time you told me to leave because I talk too much and I said too much. You need to think about our kids in the schools. We have a young man that got a 97 in science, hasn't had a teacher all year. How did that happen? How does that work? I want to go to that school. I'd like to have a 97 in every class and not have to go to class. It's a great thing. We need teachers. You need to move out of this building, get down in the schools and teach these kids. You have degrees, am I correct? Oh, no, that's right, we don't talk. It's silence. Um, but if there's people in this building with degrees, they should be teaching our children. We pay taxes. We pay your salary. I resent anyone 
anyone getting a raise that is not doing their job. And I'm sorry, I don't believe, you could be the most wonderful person in the world, I don't believe you're doing the right job for our school district. Thank See you. Thank you. Shaw Murphy, 1003 Spruce Street in Condo. Again, everything is emails, an email, or it's it, whatever I said last time. But going back on, so now we, were, we got the contract. So Appendix B, Objective Performance Standards. Strategically and create personalized student success. Where's that at? Uh, continuous improvement conducive to student learning and professional growth empower staff in the development of successful implementation of initiatives to better serve students and staff. Where's that at? We don't have enough, again, student getting a 97 with no teacher. I don't know what he did wrong not to get a 100. But, so, but under the key performance indicators, it says Superintendent Widener demonstrates a clear understanding of and cultivates a positive working relationship with the Board of Directors. To me, it sounds like the Board of Directors is up her derriere. Few people on here. I get you. This is what you guys want. But no one, see, well, what's his name again? Excuse me. Your comment was inappropriate. No, it was very truthful. No, it yeah. wasn't. So in the last four months, what has been done? Nothing. That's not true. That's a lie. Is we it? Spent, we, we spent $400,000 last month. Doing what? A, do, do we have teachers? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not going yeah, to. We're not going to go back. I'm but it, everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. So we, on, so we got, what, one teacher, two counselors. Okay. Is that enough for a class that's getting a 97 because... There's no teacher, and there's not going to be a teacher for his next class. Yes, that is my son that got the 97. Yeah, and how are they going to do? Is that Mr. Butler? I, I thought you would take copious notes. You're sitting there not doing anything. We can talk after the meeting. And that's fine. But there are established systems for... Everything on here is operating in a fair and equitable manner. You guys folks fights amongst yourselves. How, there's no, there's nothing there. Design and utilize various forms of formal and informal communication. We're supposed to get emails. I'm still waiting on an email from two months ago. And our communication from the school district is the robocalls. And yes, we get plenty of them, but nothing from the board of directors. Listen, I, I, so design structures and process we result in parent involvement. Is this is this our parent involvement that we all have to come here and yell at everyone? Thank you. That three minutes got to go. Ann Leonetti. Go Ann Leonetti. Hi. Ann Leonetti, Lem 50 Brookwood Lane, <coughs> Glen Olden. I'm the turkey mom, but um, my daughter has Keystones Wednesday, and she has not had a teacher. I, like, what's, I'm appalled by that. Like, what, can she opt out of it? Uh, like, I don't understand how they were even allowing the kids to take it without a teacher. Now, what happens, like, with her, like, with that, then, if she opts out? Well, how come I wasn't informed that I could do that? Why would they allow a student to take 
Nobody, I, I have never in my life. I've been a taxpayer for 30 years, just got done paying my house off. I want to get out of here. I, I have never used this school district one year. This is my, I'm appalled. I'm, a, I'm just, I cannot believe the state of the school. I cannot, she, even her uh, social study, well, thank God we have one now, but like she has not had teachers since. How are we running a school without a teacher? Like I just don't. And nobody's even informing me as a parent, and like that we have no teachers. And I want to clarify that um, I wasn't throwing that teacher under the bus. It's a sin. Like the teacher was just keeping them um, occupied. The teachers are wonderful, the ones that she has. Um, but uh, I feel terrible about that. Te like I, I, but that's ridiculous. Like you know, thank you so much, but. We could, uh, I wish like, somebody would have told me that. I, I love that you're having this conversation. I know you're taking up the next block. Talk to your parents. It's a mean look. Oh, okay. Thank you so them. much. Um, yeah, because uh, she's, a, that's ridiculous. But I feel bad for the other parents that don't know this or other no, kids I, that I are in the, you. did you? I, I have a school teacher. Too. See, I wish I had you as a, yeah. Okay, because I had no clue. Yeah, I don't. for these poor kids this week. It's terrible. None of them have teachers. That's thank not true. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wish they would help us. Like somebody would have, and Mr. Boyd did, um, I didn't look at my emails until tonight, but he did get a hold of me about the, and he asked, um, my poor daughter had no clue because she hates me when I come here. So he had a meeting with her. And she wants to get to Calumet Mission and all the local things. So I did have all the meetings and I just missed it. Okay, but that doesn't affect her grades or anything. That won't? No. Oh, my goodness. That, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Now, 11. Oh, I hope we're better by then. All right, well, thank you. Um, Armistead Harris. Armstead Harris. Hello, how y'all doing this evening? So first off, I would like to say my name is Armstead Harris the third, 708 Felton Ave, Sharon Hill. So first off, without community, where can school exist? Everyone here, I know everybody has a problem with people taking the funds that are needed just to go ahead and use them for other things other than what's supposed to be used for school. Why is the community coming here asking why are the children getting 97 when the Keystone, one of the major things that you have to pass is biology? One of the three subjects. But does anybody that's sitting at this table know the reading level of these children? Yes. Yes. That's the question. Yes. And with knowing that, <laughs> oh, can I, can I find, can I ask you that? Okay. Well, with, the, with that being said, is anybody here willing to come and teach these children to bring them up to the level that they need to be, to take these keystones? So let me, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish what I'm saying. Why are y'all not empowering youth programs, mentorship programs to help the schools? Why are you not bringing, bringing organizations in? I'm from a nonprofit organization called Day One, Not Day Two, and I'm about action. Everything that I've done has been about action. So if given the chance, let's really make a change. Let's really actually stand together and not stand behind desks and be silent when people are speaking to you and looking at them as if they're not people, if they're just dollar signs. That's the question. That's the initiative. Why, are, why is somebody not taking the initiative and speaking besides these two sisters right here? What, you scared? Hmm. Well, if they don't want to hear what I got to say, don't worry. I'm going to keep talking. And I'm going to let you know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. The community feels this way, and the organizations that surround the community feel this way. So whether you do something or not, us in the community will get it done. That's right. That's 
That's a for sure thing. Yeah. Armstead Harris the third wellness coordinator for day one, not day two. Thank you very much. Well, if y'all got four hundred thousand dollars, then y'all need to make it happen. Seriously. Diamond Gibbs. Well, good evening, everyone. Perfectly said, just going to do nothing but back what he just said. I also am a member of a local nonprofit, and I don't think we understand as a people that representation matters. And you don't know how frustrating it is to actually see people of color in a position of power and still fail in the communities that are predominantly black and brown. It is very upsetting. It's very upsetting. And all I'm seeing with the leadership that has progressed so far, I'm just seeing a school to prison pipeline just building up because the juvenile detention center is coming back to the county in two years. All I'm gonna see is the kids transitioning right back into that center and then com completing a cycle. Yeah. If resources, programming, and community activities are not provided to these kids, and if you have the funding that you say you have for a contract, that needs to go into the schools. So like I'm said, just said, look, y'all not gonna get it done, we gonna be out there. So I'm hoping that y'all will be actually in attendance because I did see President sign up for a rotating juvenile justice system town hall happening next week. We will be coming to Southeast Delco. So I'm hoping that the people are coming out to actually represent the kids, yes. hear what the community has to say, and provide them with what they're in need of because they're in need of these resources now. Yeah. That school to prison pipeline is doing nothing but brewing. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. James Bazelli. James Bazelli. Okay. Um, Patrick McGowan. Patrick, Patrick McGowan, 421 Clifton Avenue, Sharon Hill. Um, <clears throat> as my wife alluded earlier, uh, and I actually asked this at the last school board meeting, Madam President, you said you are the spokesperson in your capacity, correct, for the school board? That's what you said. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Mr. McGowan. At the McGowan. beginning of the meeting, you said you, as your capacity as president of the school board, <laughs> speaks on behalf of the school board, correct? That's no. what you said at the beginning of the meeting? No, that's a portion of what I said. Okay. My question is, per section 1073.1 of the school code, uh, superintendent's annual review, my wife kind of spoke about it earlier, I asked this question last month if the review was actually completed. I got no answer, and it's actually not up to Dr. Weiner to actually respond to that question, because the school board is charged on giving her the review and putting it up on the school website. Now, my wife and I did do a deep dive in Delaware County uh, school districts, and we did notice other school districts are following the law and posting it on, our school, on their school website. Our school district does not. Our school district has one from two years ago. They don't have one from last year. The school, the school year ended, I think, was uh, July, June 30th, July 1st is the new school year. Where is it at? I'm actually asking you, I know you're not gonna answer me, so I will give you until the end of tomorrow, and then I'm calling the state and asking why it hasn't been posted. Because by law, you are supposed to post it, post it according to the school code. You are not following the school code, madam. That's number one. Number two, last month at our meeting, you were silencing people because you felt things were not inappropriate. Ms. Barley said she felt, in her opinion, that the superintendent was maybe not a good fit for the school district. You stopped her right there. You felt that that was inappropriate. Do you realize, madam, she can sue you for infringement of her First Amendment rights? According to the Sixth Circuit Court, um, they upheld that a school board cannot uh, censorship what they say, as long as it's not threatening 
it is as long as it's their opinion, they are legally allowed to say that. Just because you disagree with them does not give you the right to do so. As a matter of fact, Pensbury School District was sued. A judge, a judge enjoined them, the school district and awarded them money. So, madam, you are putting this school district at risk. I'm not sure, you know, ignorance of the law is no excuse, but it is the law. You need to, if you're in that position where you're setting these things, you need to know it and maybe consult with your solicitor what you can and cannot do and what the legal ramifications are. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow I would like to get an email from somebody about the performance review. Oh, I still have time. I have one more thing. I still have time. By the way, back in October I asked about exit interviews. If your school district does do exit interviews for your employees and you actually said yes, I reached out to a couple uh, former employees. They told me they absolutely did not. Of the four, only one said they got them. The other one said they did not get them. So thank you. Thank you. Cherie Monroe Whitset. <laughs> Sorry, you forgot your documentation. Sheree Monroe, Whitsett, Darby Township. This question is for the school board members, and I would like to have an answer from each individual one. Um, are you aware of this, the current uh, PSBA scores from the Future Ready Index Pennsylvania? Were you provided them? No. The new title is Future Ready Pennsylvania Index, and this is where all the scores go when they take the state test. Have you received that documentation yet? Has any school board member received the documentation? The other question is, is these scores part of the current contract and why the, you want to raise and give the incentives to the superintendent? Okay, I, and then I digress. So, the score in 2020, and the gentleman, he has a copy of it. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, Academy Park. Um, the score in 2021 was proficient 39.3. And I'm sorry, 2021. In 21-22, it was 1.9. Statewide average in 2021, 55%. And 2022 is 54%. The test scores have went down. If you need a copy, I have it. I can also email you the link. Pennsylvania. Oh, it don't matter. It'll get worse. That was just Academy Park. That was the ELA scores. English language arts. We're at Academy Park right now. Still in the Academy Park for math. Math went up. In 2020-2021, proficient students, 31.4. 21-22 in math, proficient students, 39.3. They went up. Science and biology for that 97. 2020-2021 was 18.8 proficient. In 2021-2022 proficient, 16.9 went down. So again, so I'm gonna ask the question to the school board members. I'm assuming you formulated the contract because um, that is your due diligence under the school code as Mr. McGowan had just stated. The reasons why you have this increase in these con current contracts, is it for performance? Is it for student performance? Or is it for friendship? And that's all. If anybody would like a copy, I have multiple copies. If you would like it, I can email this to you, ma'am. Thank you very much. 20. 20, 2021, 20, and 21, 22. The COVID year.
Jess. Jessica Preisendorfer. Hi, good evening. I'm Jesse Preisendorfer. I teach at Academy Park. Um, I was just going to say that our teachers have been overworking and covering for leadership's mistakes in order to provide a brighter future for our students, one that doesn't include violence in the buildings, staff shortages, and low test scores. Um, our students deserve better. We should be expecting more for their experience, and the status quo just isn't good enough anymore. We've been in the news for all the wrong reasons, and let's give our students some hope because right now they don't have any. The message that this contract extension sends the kids is that what's been happening is not okay, but it's exceptional. It's better than okay. I had a kid stop me in the hall the other day. Uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know who he was. He, Miss P, and I stopped. I thought maybe he was a kid in one of the classes I was covering because we cover different classes every day. But he said, I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've been saying at the meetings. So our kids, our kids are watching. They're watching all of us. They're watching all of us. I just want to say personally, I appreciate the parents that I'm starting to get to know just because I see you once, twice, four, five, six times a month. Um, I appreciate the kids that are watching on YouTube because apparently they're also paying attention to this stuff. Um, and leading by example, leading, if they don't perform, they don't get rewarded. So. I want to teach them that in life, you, you don't get rewarded if you don't perform. That's the lesson, I think, that makes us want to be teachers. So our kids are watching. So thank you for your time. Jay Crawson. Good evening. Ray Crowhouse, 157 Heather Road, Crawcroft. Um, just a few things about the agenda. My understanding that Madam President is the one of the board who's able to answer the meetings like this to the public. So a couple questions. One, for the tax, tax Act 57, why is that being voted on tonight? And my understanding that it has to be passed by January 9th. We've had several months since that policy went into effect. Why is it a special meeting to get that done when it's been in authorization since October so what's the communication that, you, that the board had to call a special meeting to vote on that? Madam President? No comment. Okay, appreciate that. So the second thing on the, um, on the contract, I second pretty much what everyone else has said tonight. I think five years is irresponsible. Having had only one evaluation in her two and a half years while working, obviously she had another six months to go, <laughs> going out five years just does not make any sense to me personally. I get a review every year at my job, and my boss knows it, and I know it, and then we can talk to each other and figure out what's going on. As a public, we've only seen one evaluation with prof proficient from two years ago. If you haven't done one last year, how can you give a five-year contract when you don't know as a team, and a team is everybody up there, yeah. in agreement? I'll say that. Third, I think the board as a whole, take it for what you may, is acting irresponsible in their performance. We have people that are doing stuff behind the scenes that apparently should not be. Yep. We have other people that are grandstanding in public that should not be. Mm -hmm. People not attending meetings that should be. Yep. The visibility that you're all giving as a whole for Southeast Delco is a reflection on our kids. Mm -hmm. How can you expect the media and the rest of the community to stand behind our school when you're not standing in front of it as a good example. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Jenkins. Good evening. Maria Jenkins, 1550 Belmar Drive, Falls Off Pier. I have to have my address on the card, as I do always. Um, my first um, question is individualized education plan and title funding. The funding 
that come in for the children that have the IEPs, I am so lost and concerned. And at this point, the way that the children with IEPs are being spelled, you guys should just be waiting on the seats. You guys should be waiting on the seat because it is so irresponsible with the lack of, I'm going to just say the lack of attention for what I see it, to that priority. That needs to go high to the top of your list. Not that they're above any other children, but, but they need that extra push, that extra assistance. Our regular students don't have the normal assistance. The, you know, the daily assistance that they need from teachers. So to, ex to expect that there's things in place for the children with IEPs, I know there are, personally. So again, I'm asking again, as I have in past meetings, that you guys put that to the forefront of your agenda and focus on our students with IEPs and without. But this one right here gonna bring y'all a seat. Um, again, I had asked about the number of teacher to student ratio, it was told what it's supposed to be, um, but I did not get what our student to staff ratio was at Academy Park High School. Um, and I believe I asked that maybe two or three meetings ago. Um, I also, I'm just going over a few things that I asked that I hadn't received responses for. I also asked about school visits. Um, there were a few board members that did say they have been in the schools, but there were several um, who had not been in the schools. And I don't mean, again, in the schools to the office. I mean in the schools to the dirty bathrooms where you guys can catch the contact that our children are catching from the vape pens and the weed um, or the filthy bathrooms um, or the things that they go through when they're traveling through these hallways. So, again, please don't go straight to the office. Walk the halls that our children walk. Um, and and I, is this something that you need from us? Help us help you. Because at this point, I feel like we're hitting the wall. We're running into the same wall week after week after week. And just like I tell my child, help me help you. What is it that you need? Because, I mean, y'all meeting. That's, y that's what you're saying. You're saying you're talking. You're saying, you know, you're, you're doing things. We're not seeing it. We're not seeing it. We hear it, but actions speak louder than words. And again, I appreciate everything y'all do, and I'm going to say it every week, because you're doing something. You know, so we appreciate what you guys are doing. Um, and there's a survey, well, I'll sit there while I'm talking. There's a survey on change.org. There's currently 252 signatures, petitions. Thank you. Thank you for your public comments. Um, are there any questions on items one through three, or one through three of the agenda? I have some comments, Madam President, but do we have emails that need to be read or no? Are we not doing those public comments anymore? Because I can make my comments now, but I don't want to miss one, those two, public three. comments. We're looking at questions on new business items. You're fine. Okay, so um, first, please excuse my voice. I've been a little under the weather and I was not prepared to be here this evening. Um, but there's a couple things I wanna share that I found on social media. And um, before I read what I actually prepared for this evening. So I was not on the board when the current superintendent was brought to the district. I was, I was just a parent at the time. 
Um, so I did try to look into what her experience was like at her last district. She did just have one contract that was not renewed. Um, and when her contract was not renewed, a news article was posted on Delaware State News Facebook page. And in reading the comments on that post, I feel like I was right here in Southeast Delco. So I'm just gonna share two comments with you, but before I do, I do wanna tell you, there were comments about how nice of a person she is and how much she smiles. But when I read these two, it rings true here as well. So the first comment, best thing they did was to make this decision, however, three years too late. Like someone mentioned, two sides to every story. A lot of good teachers have left the lake after the past few years. So glad my child is no longer at the lake. The lake is the school district she worked for. Another comment, she's a nice lady, but what has she brought to Lake Forest? We have an extremely high turnover rate. Is she really making changes? Has she helped those teachers? Has she disciplined those principals that need to get it turned around or has she turned a blind eye? Now if that doesn't sound like Southeast Delco, I don't know what does, and that was comments from 2019. Now about the contract, I informed the board at the last meeting that with this proposed contract, we will be paying our superintendent more than William Penn, a neighboring, very comparable district with only 600 more students than us, but four more buildings than us. I explained to the board that we will be paying our superintendent almost three times the amount per student as Upper Darby School District. Upper Darby has three times as many students as us. They have twice as many buildings and two new properties in the work. They're building a brand new middle school and they're taking over one of the closed Catholic schools. They are three times as large as us. But let me tell you, with this $10,000 increase, our superintendent will make just less than $1,200 compared to Upper Darby Superintendent. I also gave you the numbers from wealthy school districts in the state, including Lower Marion. Lower Marion has 10 buildings, including two different high schools. And it's, they have more than twice the students we do. Yes, of course, they pay more, but it still averages out to less than $33 per enrolled student. We are about to pay our superintendent just shy of $50 per student. The superintendent for Lower Marion will receive a 1.5% increase each year, and that is in the wealthiest district. But we are offering a 3.5% annual increase to our superintendent. After the initial $10,000, she will receive an annual raise between $7,200 and $8,000 a year. And her contract will last longer than any current board member's term. And in case you're wondering where I pulled this information from, the full contract for the Lower Marion Superintendent is available online for the public on board docs. And I emailed the entire board this contract, also included all of my resources and references for all of the data that I researched and shared. I didn't want them to think I was giving you guys numbers blindly. I can't help but feel we are failing our students and our teachers by spending money so senselessly on an administrator's salary, taking away resources and funds that should be allocated to our students, our staff, and our buildings. I'm sure Lower Marion students are not lacking these resources. Furthermore, I cannot express how concerned I am at the lack of negotiation and transparency throughout this contract process. The board as a whole did not meet with our superintendent and discuss any increases, goals, or changes for this contract. No performance standards were changed or altered. Even after hearing the complaints and cries from our residents, teachers, and parents for two hours and 15 minutes, as we've made clear, I'm sad to say that there's many board members that did not change their stance since last meeting. The majority of the board refused to discuss lowering the $10,000 initial raise or even lowering the annual increase of 3.5%. Since I felt the contract would be approved regardless of my vote, I instead asked for a $5,000 initial increase and a 1.5 annual 
increase each year, just like when we're marrying. When I asked if this would be considered, I was told, and I quote, absolutely not by the vice president of the board. And even, and I'm still not even sure where these initially proposed numbers for this contract came from. Originally, the board was told that the superintendent requested a copy of another administrator's contract, just a template, so that she could give a proposal to the board. We received nothing. Instead, we were rushed into an urgent executive session without the superintendent the week of Thanksgiving. This was at the request of our vice president. The vice president presented the board with the initial increase and the annual percentage amounts not listed, now listed in this contract. We were informed that the superintendent did not ask for anything and believed the board would be fair. The VP also presented doubling the travel allowance at the time, but the majority of the board did not agree to that very small part. I have several concerns. First, the logic in which these numbers were developed were never explained. What was it compared to? What was it based on? Where did the vice president get these numbers from? What calculations were used? What goals, standards, and improvements were used to determine such a large raise? Eventually, we were offered a number that supposedly represented the median salary of superintendents in Delaware County. This number did not include every district in the county, but it sure did include all the wealthier ones. And this number did not take into account the size or the performance of these districts. So again, I ask, where is the logic? There was no negotiation that I am aware of, or at least that I was present for. How could the superintendent be so sure that the board would be fair? Which board member or members gave her that impression? Since I am aware, uh, since I am unaware of the vice president's experience in negotiating and writing contracts, I am concerned we are not doing our due diligence to protect the district, the students, or the taxpayers. What professional was involved in negotiations? From what I am told, the solicitor had a lot of direct involvement in the first contract when our superintendent w first negotiated and signed to come to Southeast Delco. What made this time so different? There was no negotiable transparency. There was not even transparency to the public. We actually sat in a meeting and voted to not share the proposed contract with the public. With that being said, I do not like sitting up here and appearing to be divisive. That's not my goal. But I must speak up when I feel we are making the wrong decision. Are my fellow board members comfortable with the decision they're about to make tonight? Will you be able to defend your decision if the residents file suit against the school board or the teachers union files a vote of no confidence? I feel I have no choice at this point but to contact our state senator, our representatives, and the Delaware County Council to alert them of how irresponsible and careless we are being with the funds granted to our district. A district our size cannot afford these large administrative salaries, even if it is to keep her in competition with her subordinates. <sighs> we're lacking vital resources for our kids and our teachers, and we're talking about giving rich people more money. I urge you all to vote tonight no to this inflated and outrageous contract. Thank you, Ms. Perry. Thank you, Ms. Perry. I, I hope you all notice how none of the boards interrupted her while she was speaking to make her statement. What we're asking that, uh-uh, what we're asking is that everyone deserves the same respect. When a board member has a statement to make, it is appropriate and respectful for all of us to listen to each other. What you noticed for the last three or four minutes while she was speaking, that none of us at the table interrupted her. Okay, so, so, mm -mm, no. No, you treat people how you wanna be treated. And when you do not wanna be interrupted, you listen. Let's continue. Let's continue, because she was not interrupted. Thank you. There's one uh, comment. 
there's one uh, me, uh, there's one uh, comment from the public. The other one is not a um, is not a uh, agenda item, and so we're not allowed to read those. Uh, my name is Francesca Barley. I live at in Collingdale. I am not present tonight because five board members made it impossible on such short notice for anyone to make it. Unlike most of the board members, I have children in the school, one of them at Academy Park. So I would like for you all as a parent to imagine what it is like for your child to be in the school, the riots, the repeated lockdowns, and nobody teaching your, cl nobody teaching your classes. Imagine those calls from your kids. How would you feel? Can you 100% say that the leadership has addressed the issues the district has? The president of the teachers union stood up and told you that they do not support their, the, the contract. If you thought we had a teacher shortage now, just wait. Your whole staff will walk. When someone isn't working, wait, wait, wait. When someone is, I'm sorry, isn't working, you scratch it and start over. I beg you as a stakeholder that pay taxes, but more importantly as a mom, that wants to be best, that wants the best for her child, please start a new superintendent search. Thank you. Um, I also want to say, when we're doing our research, um, I think Ms. Perry mentioned the disparaging um, comments regarding um, Dr. Weinberg. There's also um, online on Delaware online if you will um, do your homework regarding her exemplary service um, to her previous uh, school district and the principal speaks about how she contributed to um, with her level of expertise and her experience to a blue ribbon school to support the students there and I just want us to be fair when we're um, presenting things to the community right because oftentimes people only know what what you share with them and I and I have the information here in front of me and I want to be clear about that um, that there is um, what the board has seen um, and what when we did our homework and when we did a national search for our school uh, superintendent that we found that she had exemplary service in her previous work and I just want to um, move on as we go to new business items thank you um, I have a comment so I have a comment. So I sent to the board oh, members. Monroe, you had, you had I comment. sent to the, no, I had a comment as a parent. Now right, I'm a board so member. We're going to move on with. Um, okay, so the like I said, I sent an email to all of the constituents. I sent an email to all the board members about the, blue, about the blue, about the blue ribbon a school. Lack of respect. What do you mean the lack of respect? No, so every other board member can talk instead of no, me? You had, you had like five minutes when, previously. When? When, when did I have it? Okay. So I sent a list of all the Blue Ribbon schools, and yes, yeah, she was accredited for that one school. However, that district is engulfed in Blue Ribbon schools. Not just that one school, they have multiple schools. And guess what I did, because they always think I'm lying. I sent every single board member every single link to every school. Not only did I do that, I went on to the apartment of education for Delaware and also sent them that link. So when we talk, let's put it all out there on the front line. Let's be transparent. It was one school and their school district has about seven or eight continuously year after year. So board members, y'all didn't get that email? Oh, okay, I thought so. So thank you. Yeah, the next we're under uh, new business. Uh, new business consists of items one, two, and three. New business Item voting. Do I have a motion to approve item one? Thank you. Let's do a roll call vote. Roll call vote on item one, which is a motion to untable. Excuse me. Uh, the uh, previously tabled item on the December 15th, 2022 uh, motion for the superintendent to take effect. Uh, Ms. Perry. No. Ms. Monroe. No. Mrs. Peter Kelly. Yes. Ms. 
good for you? No. Mr. Fowler? No. Ms. Harris Johnson? Yes. Ms. Slaughter? Yes. Ms. Agnew? Yes. Motion is uh, seated. Does the motion pass? Okay. Um, do I have a motion? For do Lee I Scott, item two. Yes, sir. Do I? So. I'm sorry. I said that backwards. I'm sorry. Do I have a motion to approve so item three? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Are there any public comments regarding non-agenda items? I have a com I have a question for the board members. Um, so are we actually going to actually meet and actually discuss this contract, or are we just going to have a meeting for a meeting? Well, we're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a meeting. We're going to have a meeting for a
So again, I'm saying to the school board members, you're okay with the current contract and raising taxes as well. So the taxpayers are going to be paying for this because we know the state don't give us money. I just want to be clear with this. I just want to be. I just want to ask the question. Mm, there you go. Uh, I'd like to make Thank a motion, you. Madam President. I make a motion that we change the terms in the proposed con I move that we change the terms in the proposed contract. Because the law allows us to do a three or a five year contract, I think we should do, well that's if we don't have a contract. Well, I, I believe that we should change it to a three year term with a 12 month clause a $5,000 initial increase and an annual increase of 1.5 instead of 3.5. Based on the fact that some of them are still going to vote yes. <laughs> would it be based? Would it be based on a previous? Because I contract? can't get be, because I cannot get you to agree to no increase. That's why. It's, that's what it's based on. Would it be? Would it be based on previous contracts? what previous contracts, because I don't believe in comparing her contract to previous superintendents or to the current assistant superintendent. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make the announcement for future meetings of the board. Right, nobody second. Nobody seconded. Okay. Let's do vote. Thank you. Roll call vote. Oh wait, can you? Um, yeah, let's sure. be clear. Let's be clear to repeat the motion. Mm -hmm. Mr. Diario, can I ask him a question? Are we doing this in public? Well, well, you. Usually, personnel matters are discussed in the executive session, but there's no law that says you can't also discuss it in public. But there's no law permitting, there's, there's th this motion is not in violation of any law. I mean, it, it usually is discussed in executive session, but if a board member wants to make a motion like this uh, in public, then it's, it's not impermissible under the law. It's usually not done that way, but, but there's no law against it. Is this the first time on the, in your 32 years on the board that you've, um, encountered something like this that well, was not well, an executive, well generally, generally, ex executive generally, session. Generally contracts are discussed, discussed in executive session. Everybody, the, the board knows that. I mean, that's what we usually do. But, but, but it's, not, it's not impermissible as far as a motion under the law. Um, I just want to say we as a board have not agreed or voted to begin publicly sharing employees' contracts um, board members' emails or any any other privileged information um, to the public. It is not um, standard that we would share that information prior to uh, voting on that information, and that's across the board for all employees. I just want to be clear about that. Um, I want the public to think about going down a rabbit hole that all employees of the district information, if this is what you're thinking about, would, re would be shared, I was quiet when you spoke, I, I'm asking for the same respect, would be shared prior to that employee having that information. I want to be clear about that because what it sounds to me is that we're saying that as, as Dr. Winder sits here, that, that we have the right and the public has the right, um, but only her, not the 300 other employees that we have, that their personal financial information should be shared with the public prior to having the contract approved with, um, with the board. And that is completely against precedent, completely against standard, and ethical. Thank you, and unethical. And it has not been our practice as a board. Thank you. I would like to that's after they're voted on. That's not prior. Right, that's not prior. I would like to move that we we actually discuss this in, in an executive session. Okay. Yeah, so we could vote on this. Yes, it has. It was, uh, the motion was made by Ms. Perry and seconded by Ms. Richards. 
Okay, so let's let's um, go around to Trustee O'Rourke. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is to a recent question on this, Ms. Gray. Uh, to change the term of the contract to three years, increase five thousand dollars, annual increase one point five. Ms. Gray. Yes. Ms. Monroe will take. Is this without standards? Richards. Mr. Fowles. No. Ms. Har Mrs. Harris Johnson. No, this would be for the first input, the executive services input, HR um, discussion, not public discussion. Ms. Crawley. Ms. Crawley. No. No. Ms. Simmons. I, I'm sorry, Ms. Simmons. I make a motion that everyone in the board has a right and actually voice is actually heard when we discuss this in the executive session and not thrown into the trash can. Could you repeat your motion? I, I move that we do. I move that we have an executive session to make those discussions to consider uh, an alternate details in the contract. Do you have a second? Do you have a second? is voting on the motion to discuss these matters in executive session. What is it? Yeah, the, the, we're going to discuss changes to uh, the contract in executive session. Thank you. Okay, roll call vote. Ms. Barry. Yes. Monroe will take. Yes. Mrs. Peter Kelly. Yes. Ms. Richards. Yes. And Mr. Fowles. Yes. Ms. Harris Johnson. Yes. Ms. Crawley. Yes. Mrs. Abney. Yes. I'd like to make uh, I'd like to make a motion that uh, all board members are present at this executive session. Oh, I'm sorry. Can someone else make their motion? Thank you. I move to do a motion that all board members be present. She just made the motion to. She just agreed to be there. Okay, well, we're going to vote on it. It's fine. I, I made a motion. You're saying you're making a motion that all board members must be present. So are you stating that if all nine don't show, you can't hold the meeting? Actually, I actually didn't get a chance to, to right. say that's everything um, that I wanted to say. I'm asking all the board members to make an effort to be at that meeting, how important it is to not only us, but also to the public.
It's presented to so us in a PowerPoint presentation. That's done on a quarterly basis that goes through all of the all of the details related to the metrics and the strategic plan that was made earlier, in, I guess it was during the summer, during the summer months. So we've seen at least one update, and I, my anticipation is that we'll see another update um, within the next couple of months. It's this month, it's actually this month, so hopefully everybody will show up to see that. And Thank that's you. why I made the comments asking where did these numbers come from? Can All right, so I actually have a comment. So well, this is for the com public comment for non-agenda. Yeah, you said that and then you, you didn't even give anyone a chance to talk. So we so we agreed for four hundred thousand dollars for a teacher and two council people at Academy Park and, and the security. So what if, what what happened with all of the rest of the schools? They're still missing teachers. People people are leaving, but you're not worried. I mean, I know we're only talking about Academy Park, but there's other schools. Mr. Murphy, um, to be clear, we did we created four new positions, so it actually increased our number of vacancies. Um, needing teachers for positions that already existed, that is a separate problem, and yes, we need to solve it, but what we did was we created four additional positions, and, and I'm not saying the other schools don't no need an additional counselor or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but uh, like all this money that we're talking about, why can't we divert some of it to at least try to help? Thank you. Announcement of future meetings of the board. The committee of the whole meeting is Thursday, January 19th, 2023 at 6 p.m. The um, board business meeting is Thursday, January 26th, 2023 at 7. Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? You will be notified via email. Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion. Do I have a second? 